Welcome back. So today we have been talking about exceptional kids. Our next guest is only eight, but she can speak more languages than most of us will in a lifetime. Take a look at this pint-sized polygot. La cigale est enchantée. Tous les thés. Ouais. Elle a un hibou. Elle a un couleur. Elle a un hibou. Elle a un hibou. So cute. In addition to French, Arabic, Spanish, and Russian, Mabu speaks Mandarin Creole, and she even knows sign language. Lucky for me, English is her eighth language. Please welcome from Queens, New York, Mabu Loiseau and her mom, Esther. Nice to see you, Mabu. Sit down. Wow, you look absolutely beautiful. What a dress. Both of you look like Thank you're you. out of a fairy tale. Thank you. So, Mabu, tell me why you love languages so much. I mean, it's extraordinary how many you speak. Well, I was born smart, duh. <laughs> you're born smart. Well, that's a good way to be born. And, and when you discovered, Esther, that your daughter, and modest too, that your daughter, that your daughter had such a gift, how did you encourage her to pursue this? Uh, she was about a year and a half when I realized that she was saying words I never taught her in French. Then I said, Mabu, how do you know these words? And she would tell me the exact meaning of the words. So then I understood that there was something extra there and I acted right away and I started speaking different languages and hiring nannies and people to speak the languages with her. Wow, so, <laughs> and here she is eight and she's already up to eight languages and you're learning your ninth. Yes. Tell us what language you're learning now. Now I'm learning Japanese. And how tough is Japanese compared to some of the other languages? Well, it's not that tough because I have the Chinese and it's, they're very similar. Oh, because of Mandarin. Yeah. So that's pretty easy to speak Japanese. So, konnichiwa. <laughs> that means hi, doesn't yeah. it? Japan. <laughs> okay, good. And, and, and you're also, in addition to speaking all these languages, you're studying college-level algebra as well. Is that right? Uh-huh. And, and Esther, I mean, you've got an extraordinary daughter here, clearly. Do you ever worry about pushing her too much? See, that, that's the thing. Many people make that mistake thinking that I'm pushing her. She is actually pushing me, believe me. Right now, she's begging me, Mommy, I want a, a chemistry and bio teacher. Can you please get me? I said, Mabu, you have to wait. Mommy doesn't have the money now. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing so many other things. Wait, then she wants it right away. So I said, okay, this is, we, we, let's make a deal. I cancel your tennis in the morning, so I get that money and pay for that. She refuses. She wants all of them. Wow. So, you know, she has more time because, <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't cancel it, promise. <laughs> Don't give your mom too much attitude. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. and, yes. and what do you want, Mabu, I mean, obviously you've got a lot of talents. Have you thought about what you want to be when you grow up? I know you're only eight. I really want to be three things. Uh -huh. I want to be a lawyer, a brain surgeon, and a singer. Why? A lawyer, a brain surgeon, Why? and a singer. A lawyer because... I defend myself pretty well, so maybe I could <laughs> defend other people. Right, and a brain surgeon? Because I want to understand the brain. It's very fascinating. Yeah, yours especially. <laughs> yeah. And then finally a singer, right? Mm -hmm. I want to be a singer because when I'm singing, I'm in pain. Where did she come from? <laughs> okay, well, we wanted to put you to a little test, Mabu, and we wanted to ask you to say something, one thing in a, in a number of different languages. Can you say, Katie is my favorite TV show in Arabic? And I ohibu bonamaj Katie, Kitty. Okay, can you say it in Russian? Yalublu Katyasha. 
Can you say it in Mandarin? Katie show. And can you say it? Can you say Katie is my favorite TV show in sign language? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Well, you know, before you're too blown away by Mabu and her talents, you also have an ear for music, as we heard not only as a singer, but you play eight, eight instruments. Mm -hmm. Honestly? <laughs> what instruments do you play? I play the piano. Yes. And I play the violin. And I also play the drums and the guitar, the guitar and the harp and the clarinet, the flute, the drums, drums <laughs> and, the and the conga. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, I, you know, listen. I, I have to say that we were so impressed and we know that you love to play the piano. So we wanted to do something special. So the New York Philharmonic wants to invite you and your mom and dad to one of their upcoming concerts. So we got you tickets to the New York Philharmonic. <laughs> Mabu and Esther, thank you so much for coming today. And Mabu, best of luck to you. All right, we'll be right back.